Okay, so uh, my first look um, at the uh, Maki, and I will tell you, just like the ID4, I haven't really been paying attention. Lots of people have sent me things. I've never seen this color, this uh, blue-gray, we used to call that clay uh, model before, but um, boys and girls, this looks very Japanese. Um, I, uh, uh, I've seen lots of Japanese vehicles and they like to have either happy cars or angry cars. This is um, happy, sad, and angry are the three styles. This one here is angry or aggressive. So um, I kind of like, I like that kind of look. So, uh, so anyway, in fact, I even like the color. Um, So if we look at uh, if we look at the car itself, uh, let's just uh, do my uh, eyeball gap gauge here. This is uh, this is pretty good. The fits are great. I hope we didn't scratch it over there. Um, I like the lenses. Actually, I like the whole front end. So there you go. I will say uh, the wheels are okay but uh, but I really did like the the wheels on the um, on the ID4 uh, it was pretty hard to beat those um, again the uh, the gaps are all pretty good I can't see it anything and where uh, where the ID4 had a problem there with the um, with the stone shields um, this card is not it's it's very precise this is nice too. I like the fact no door handles. If they could just get rid of uh, wing mirrors, I'd, uh, I'd be happy as a clam. So uh, I'm not gonna open it up just yet. I just wanna look at everything. So um, again, the gaps here are good. Huh, interesting look for... Uh, huh. I like the... Uh, I like the Mustang logo, uh, black, cool, I like that. Not too much chrome, actually very little chrome, I like that. Again, the gaps on uh, the back end here, great. Hmm. Yeah, this is a very well, well built car. Um, Ford can be proud of this, but then, <laughs> I like the ID4 a lot too when I looked at it. Again, the same thing, all the gaps are good. I love the fact that, uh, that there's, uh, there's no door handles. This is a way that, um, that the artists, um, when they come up with the styling of the car, they don't have any door handles on and they never put wing mirrors on because uh, they just take away from the, uh, the beauty of the style. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about not having door handles, um, just having a push button. Um, yeah, this is all good. Okay, I just gotta do this. Yeah, this is a chip. I don't know where that came from, but uh, hopefully we didn't put it on there. <laughs> this is clever. Shingling like this is a great way to, to make sure you don't have, um, have problems um, with, uh, with, uh, with matching. It's a cool trick. I like, the, um, I like the vent as well. It's not a vent actually, it's just a styling feature, but it looks really, I, I think it looks quite good. Oh, that's your uh, louvers for the uh, cooling system. They'll open when, um, when they need to. Oh, this is having an issue as well. I think somebody bumped this puppy. Uh, that, uh, that shouldn't be like that. I think somebody, uh, wherever that came from, something happened here as well. Anyhow, <coughs> first glance, this looks pretty damn good. Um, <coughs> You know what, if I was betting, man. Well, anyway, um, I don't want to get into what I would do as opposed to somebody else. Yeah, nice idea. Okay, so uh, let's, um, 
let me uh, put my cup down and uh, let's let's have a look at what's going on inside. Oh, so they still have the uh, locking mechanism that um, is kind of a, a Ford uh, a Ford thing where you can um, you can use the push buttons to um, to lock and unlock the car. Oh, this has been used a lot. It's kind of like dirty inside. This is, normally we don't get a dirty car. So this is not much of a transition. This is uh, this is very common looking stuff. Everything here would be where people would think it was supposed to be. Your smart sticks are uh, lined up pretty much the same way as everything else. You got a single button that uh, that's going to be uh, to turn this on. These little oh, what's that? Oh, you got a uh, couple of a um, couple of uh, power uh, power sockets here. That's nice. Got a nice big storage box here. This is just going to be for your your Prindle. Hmm. Oh, I see. There's stuff underneath here too. You got a. This is like a bridge. That's good. Actually, this would be great for my wife. She never knows where to put her purse or the Kleenex box, and uh, this is double lucky. Ah, I love that. I love these chamber doors. So good. Uh, they must be coming back, I guess. Um, like I said uh, in the ID4, we used um, we used them quite a bit. So you've got a standard <coughs> standard plug in here, and uh, perfect. Yeah, everything here is uh, is quite nice. Like I say, it's very familiar. Everybody knows where everything is, which is a good thing, I guess, if you're making a transition from from um, ICE to EV. Let me close the door here, have a look. So you've got all the window controls. They went with a standard, um, standard um, door handle, not like Tesla. Um, yeah, everything is exactly where I think it should be. So let's turn it on and see what it says. Passenger door is ajar. Um, tell you what, let me do this, um, and then you can shoot through the, oh, it stopped making noise. Okay, fine. So uh, over here, we've got uh, our range, tells me I've got 167 miles. My battery is 88% ready to rock. Um, I have a door open um, and I'm in park and um, it's got 543 miles or 540.3 miles on it. What came up here? So again, my radio, oh, that's the first thing I wanna do. Actually it's not, but, uh, but anyways, um, Tells me where I am. Here's the owner's manual, which is good. I don't like looking in books anymore. Um, maybe this can be set up for the way I'd like to see it, but that's not the first one. Usually what I'm looking for is my map. And um, here we go again. Well, there's the controls for the... Um, for the AC. Hmm. Great. All right. So um, let's try this. Ah, look at that. Amazing. I hit the map. Excellent. Where to? Search, browse, recent, save, where to, where to. How about, let's do this because charge, oh, 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 oh my gosh, charging stations. This feature requires activation. When it's safe to do so, please log into your account on the Ford Pass mobile app to learn more. Terms and conditions may apply. 
Uh, I don't like that. This is a much more intuitive screen than what I saw in the other one. So um, I'm pretty happy about that. Hmm. Wow. Plenty of room here. Huge amount of room. I'd have gone a little deeper with the uh, with the pattern on the seats. I like that the diamond style, but I would have liked more of them. It's very familiar. Nothing uh, nothing extraordinary, um, except that in a Mustang, usually you sit in the back seat. <clears throat> you got to have no legs. So uh, I'm uh, I'm thinking that this is uh, this is a nice addition to the uh, to the Ford product. Uh. Child locks. Can you unlock to? Let's find out. There's a button. Nope. Well, there we go again. I'm always loving that. Okay, let's have a look at the. Uh, let's, let's see what we got in here. Ah, cool idea. Actually, I've seen this before and I love it. I like the idea of making that get out of the way um, right away. So let's just take a look at something I, I like. This has got a button on it. Nope, women like the button. Um, Yeah, so let's watch how this works. See, it covers up your uh, your luggage and whatnot, gives you a nice black look. And then when you open it up, it kind of like folds up like a butterfly's wing. So let's see what we got underneath here. Now remember, last time I opened one of these, I saw something about that high. Let's hope that this is not any better. <laughs> okay, well, I really don't even know why uh, they wasted time. I would not have bothered. I had to put a little cover over the top of this. Okay, I just think that this load floor is um, goofy. I personally don't like that. <clears throat> just a waste of money. Nobody's going to care. <coughs> but I do like this. Okay, let's just have a look at the, uh, at the uh, hood and see what we got. Oh yeah. All right, folks. Um, if you're gonna put a put a second latch in here, let me just see if there. I didn't pull it enough or something. Gotta pull it harder, Sandy. Okay, see? I knew it. I knew it. I knew you could put a frunk in a car with a short nose. <clears throat> now, um, I have no idea what all this is, but um, this must be for putting groceries or something in. Um, that's fine, I guess. Um, personally, I wouldn't have bothered, but this is what it's supposed to look like in here. I mean, Obviously, Ford looked at Tesla and said, hey, you know what? These guys got, probably got a good idea, and they decided to install it. Nice, clean lines. Everything's covered up. It doesn't look like a, a nice vehicle. It looks like an EV. I'm happy about that. Okay, boys and girls, that's enough for, uh, that's enough for the uh, e Mach-E right now. We'll be uh, doing more on this uh, a little bit later. Um, stay tuned and uh, keep tipping those cashiers. Thank you for, uh, for uh, stopping in to Monroe Live. Thank you.